But we know that the most important activity that's going to build a child's future success in reading is, is reading aloud. When I read books, it gives me a picture in my head and I get to see other people's lives. Because once the passion is ignited at this age, they'll have that passion to read all the way through until their adult life. I think reading, um, it, it's like playing. I mean, reading should be for enjoyment. We all know that reading is an important skill. We need to understand the English language to make sense of the world that we are living in. Do you know that you can also serve the community by reading too? I know a group of children who are doing just that. What are these children waiting for? A game? A lesson? Here comes what they've been waiting for. Story time! Hello! Hello! Hey everyone! So... Hey, today we have a new friend. 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 We'll start with this one first. Yeah. yeah? Suddenly. Preston was walking home from school one day when suddenly the shopkeeper called Preston back to say he had forgotten his change. These children volunteers come regularly to this center to read to smaller children. On Christmas they are part of the voluntary community service organized by a non-profit group called Kids for Kids. Three little gingerbread girls and three little gingerbread boys climbed out. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight. With a snowman throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Our objective of Kids for Kids is to empower and inspire kids to take meaningful um, actions so that they can actually um, make a long-lasting impact. We actually raise money uh, for needy kids in Hong Kong. That's what we do. We fundraise with kids and it's for kids. I think reading, it's like playing. I mean, reading should be for enjoyment. Reading shouldn't be uh, forced. And I think, you know, to be able to read, you can, it opens up your world to many, many different um, ideas and creativity. It also crosses all borders. When kids read, um, it's like sharing something common together. And uh, I've seen this happen when we actually take the kids out to read. Can you see the strawberry? Strawberries! Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Calvin and I'm 17 this year. Hi, I'm Leah and I'm 14 years old. We come to Change Young Lives every two weeks to read to the kids. Yeah, I've always loved reading and I remember that being read to as a young child was always very special. It's actually very satisfying to see how the kids grow, how their listening uh, abilities grow with every time we read to them. It's also very nice to see how we as teenagers can um, give a helping hand to the community, to the society with um, our special skills, our, our expertise and stuff, right? Yeah, I think it's very important for teenagers to give back to the community and also encourage others to realise the importance of reading. And can you see the fairy? Where's the fairy? Can you say fairy? Good job! you're feeling down and heavy-hearted, what do you normally do to help you feel better?
Some people like to draw or write to express their feelings. Paint the Sky Blue by Hani Jetta. So Sammy asked Mr. Ho to take him to Victoria Park. The two of them carried Asha's cage and Sammy's art kit. When they arrived, Sammy unlocked Asha's cage and took her out. Even though he felt sad to let her go, he knew he had to. His mom always said that when you learn to let's go, that's when you start living. Soon, all Sammy could see was a flash of her yellow feathers. Asha was far away, but a part of him knew she was finally singing. He wanted to remember the moment, so he pulled out the new sketchbook and his new pencil. As he pointed the paintbrush, the colors began to appear. And that's when he painted the sky blue. Well, Paint the Sky Blue is about hope and letting go. Sammy, the main character, is a little boy who loves to paint. But after his dad dies, he can only paint in black and white. For his birthday, his neighbor gives him a yellow parakeet. But the bird can't sing. So he thinks the bird needs to fly free. So he lets her go. And as she flies further and further away, he takes out his sketchbook and starts to paint and suddenly the colors appear. Well, when I read books, it gives me a picture in my head, and I get to see other people's lives. But it may not change your life, but it can make you happy and help you escape into another world. Maybe even learn some lessons. Hani is one of the winners of the Writing for a Cause competition organized by Kids for Kids. This is our third year. We started since 2008 and where we engage children to do something we thought that they can do themselves and they enjoy, and, uh, such as writing and illustrating. And these books are then sold and the money then goes to charity. Actually, I mean, all of them are written and illustrated by children themselves. So from a children's point of view, it's much more um, uh, creative and much more fun uh, way of um, helping and doing charity work. Choosing a book that is interesting from such a large collection is not easy, let alone finding one that is suitable for children. So how do I select a book that is suitable for reading aloud to young children? What if I can't afford to buy them? Who can help me with these questions? Maybe they can help. Well, we know that the most important activity that's going to build a child's future success in reading is, is reading aloud. Because when children are read to, not only are they learning about how stories work, about vocabulary, about letters and sounds, they're also learning about how wonderful stories are, how much fun books are. And learning to read is really hard. And if a child comes to school already loving books, loving reading, then reading is going to be easier and uh, much better for him. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. The main thing is to really enjoy the story and have fun with the book. You know, it's not even necessary to finish the book or read every single word. The idea is to enjoy the experience of the story.
So you want to laugh and talk, look at the pictures. I think your goal really is what we call an engaging conversation. That is, talking about the story. And if your child is interrupting, asking questions, making comments, spending a lot of time on one favorite page, you are doing a fabulous job. Because that means the child is really connecting with that story. To make reading aloud really successful and effective, Julie offers the following tips. Let your child choose the book. Snuggle in. Read slowly. Read author and title of the book. Let your child turn the pages. Make predictions. Encourage and praise your child. Read while children are playing. Be silly, dramatic, and have fun. If you are interested in donating books or helping with the voluntary reading aloud sessions, you can find out more information from the following websites.